All right, hello. So, in my crazy quest of things related to guitar that I wanted to touch upon, travel guitars again. So, I'm actually traveling. So, I am not in Massachusetts where I live. I am actually on a business trip in none other than Sin City itself, Las Vegas. And by the way, frankly, Frankie Valley is still alive. I can't even believe this. So, this thing is up in my, my suite. So, yeah. So, I'm here for a couple of days on business. No, I do not do anything related to music. Um, it's uh, more of a corporate environment. Let's just put it that way. But in any event, though, um, everywhere I go, I try to have a guitar, whether it's in my house or if I'm traveling. And I kind of wanted to talk about what makes a good travel guitar. Some of the things I'll probably talk about is not necessarily intuitive sometimes. So, the first is that the word travel. Okay. Think about it this way, right? Um, it depends where you're going um, when you think about travel guitars, right? I'm sitting in a really nice suite in Vegas. So, um, very temperature-wise, it's nice. So, you can bring basically good equipment if you're going to be in a nice hotel room, put it that way. It's more about the transit that you want to wor worry about. And your destination matters. So if I was going camping somewhere, I wouldn't bring an all solid wood, nice parlor guitar to, to the dance, let's put it that way. But in this case, um, the first thing that I kind of think about is like, where are you traveling to? That really matters. Are you going camping? Are you gonna be away for a couple of days uh, uh, at a corporate convention? Um, where are you going? So that's the first thing. The second thing to think about is what airline are you flying? I'm not going to go through this whole stuff about certain airlines, but that's a fact. Certain airlines will not care, let you carry uh, your guitars in. And certain airlines, I'm going to pull a plug. I shouldn't say it this way, but Delta is actually pretty good. If you actually, I don't work for Delta. If you ask them up front, um, they'll put it in for you, and you don't have to go get a first class ticket or things like that. They treat it well. I don't like checking in my guitars. I've done it before, depending upon. Um, um, where I'm traveling or where I'm traveling to so that's key so the airline matters too so, so depending upon where you're going um, and the airline so that's also key the third thing is for me about a travel guitar is I don't want it only to be for travel I don't know it's like there's so many guitars and you probably thought this video was going to be talking about oh the journey travel the Yamaha silent guitar there's tons and tons of videos about that stuff my problem that I always have with them is that I want to play this stuff when I'm at home. I don't want, first of all, I don't want a junk guitar. So I don't want to bring up all oh, a beater because I'm worried that it's going to get, you know, damaged and therefore I'm not going to enjoy myself. All right. The whole point about bringing in a quality instrument with you is for you to practice and get better at your craft and for you to enjoy yourself. I don't gamble. So I don't know. I think it's like at 1 a.m. or something out here. My time clock is all messed up. There are people downstairs gambling and doing all sorts of stuff, but that's not my shtick. I can't sleep. I went down, bought some some water, um, and then I'm practicing. Okay, so, all right. So so, but in any event, though, so, so so it matters where you're going. It matters the plane that you're 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 uh, you're, you're the airline that you're flying on. Um, it it matters um, um, that it serves more useful purposes or varied purposes other than, than traveling. So for this purposes, I bought my Blue Ridge DR341, which is a parlor, all solid wood guitar. I've done reviews on it. You see me playing this thing a lot. So it's a nice size, a fits comfortable, and I played a lot at home, so I'm comfortable with it. And it's also not at a price point where if something were to happen to it, I'm going to cry. Uh, but I don't want to, uh, that's the other thing too, I don't want to spend a princely sum on a travel instrument if I view it as that, just that, a travel instrument. Some of these things are several thousands of dollars and then there are people making things with carbon fiber for if you're going camping or you're going to put it in the, uh, the trunk of your, uh, your car and things of that nature. But anyway, uh, the, 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 the real thing is to make sure you pack it well for transit. Um, hard case or very very padded case and then um, you know detune the instrument uh, I detune it a little bit not a lot um, so practice 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 take these guitars with you on your travel plans and you will get better thank you for watching bye now